Now we are going to talk about a group of symmetries of equilateral triangle that is nothing but D3 uh, or it is also called as group of symmetries of a regular polygon having three sides. Uh, this is also called as trihedral group D3. Now, uh, as discussed previously, uh, finding symmetries is not that much difficult. We have already found out for a square. So, same thing can be done for equilateral triangle, and you can find that we get this six symmetries. First of all, uh, you are having R zero, that equilateral triangle as it is, right? Now, next thing is. Uh, rotations will be there, so the question is uh, what will be the degree of rotation? In case of D4, the degree of rotation was 90 degrees, right? So if you rotate that square by 90 degrees, you were getting a symmetry. But in this case, the rotation is going to be, as you can see, this is the first rotation, right? First of all, one was here, now it appears here, one, two, three, again. One more time you have rotated, one, two, three. Now if you rotate it one more time, you are going to get the same equilateral triangle back. If you rotate it once again, you will get one, two, and three. Now, uh, if you see this uh, equilateral triangle properly, this total comes out to be 360 degrees. Now as you can see, if we rotate the equilateral triangle three times, we get the original equilateral triangle back I mean this one if you start with this if you rotate it three times then you are going to come here to this position once again so uh, we will divide 360 degrees by 3 right so if you divide 360 by 3 then you will get 120 degrees thus uh, the degree of rotation in this case is 120 degrees so I will write 120 R120 here this will be R240 here. Now, uh, we are having few more symmetries. So, fixing one as it is, fixing this vertex one as it is and simply rotating again. Fixing this two vertex and rotating. Now, fixing this three vertex and then rotating, you will get uh, more symmetries, three more symmetries in fact. Now here what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to take the help of permutations in order to prove that it is a group. So corresponding to each symmetry now, we are going to write down a permutation. And we will write that permutation in cyclic form. So first of all, here, 1 maps to 1, right? 1 maps to 1, then 2 maps to 2, and then finally 3 maps to 3 which in the cyclic form can be written as somewhat like this and that is nothing but E. So I am assuming that you know the theory of permutations. Uh, what is a permutation? What is the length of a permutation? Before that, how to write a permutation in cyclic form? How to take the product of two permutations and so on? So here as well, uh, we will get one more permutation, so 1 maps to 2, then this 2 maps to 3, then this 3 maps to 1. In the cyclic form it is actually 1, 2, 3. For this one, 1 is mapping to 3, 3 is mapping to 2, and 2 is mapping to 1. Over here, 1 is mapping to 1. 2 is mapping to 3 and 3 is mapping to 2 over here, 2 is mapping to 2, 1 is mapping to 3 and 3 is mapping to 1 over here, 3 is mapping to 3, 1 is mapping to 2 and 2 is mapping to 1. After writing in cyclic form this will be 1, 3, 2, this will be 2, 3, this will be 1, 3 and this will be 1, 2. Now here uh, we are going to use notations for all these elements. So I am going to call it as sigma and this one I am going to call it as tau. And let us uh, 
uh, do the calculations and see uh, what do we actually get, right? So if I take uh, the multiplication of sigma and tau, let us see what we get here. So sigma tau is actually equal to sigma is 1, 2, 3 and my tau is 2, 3. So after taking the product, right? So 1 maps to 1, 1 maps to 2, next 2 maps to 3, 3 maps to 1, cycle close and finally uh, 3 maps to 2 and 2 maps to 3. So this is actually 1, 2 and 1, 2 is somewhere here. So this is actually our sigma 2. Then later on, let us see what sigma square is. So sigma multiplied by sigma. So that is 1, 2, 3 multiplied by 1, 2, 3. So that is actually equal to 1 maps to 2, 2 maps to 3, right? So 1 will map to 3, 3 maps to 1, 1 maps to 2, so this is 1, 3, 2. And sigma multiplied by sigma, remember in group theory it is sigma square. So this is my sigma square. And finally, let us calculate what is sigma square 2. So this is actually equal to my sigma square is 1, 3, 2, my 2 is 2, 3. So this is actually equal to 1 maps to 1, 1 maps to 3, 3 maps to 2, 2 maps to 1, and then 2 will map to 2, and that is exactly this one, which is my sigma square 2. So this is actually nothing but the notations that we are going to use. Now, the rest of the thing is easy. We will simply draw the composition table for the six elements and you can verify all the conditions of the group. And you'll notice that the table will not be symmetric again and therefore this is again going to be your example of non-group.